Hi, I'm Chris. And I'm Anna Lynn. And we're the Wilsons on Wheels. We traded in our sticks and bricks to live full time in an RV with our two kids. That's right. And in this video, we will be getting the trailer ready to hit the road. The first project is getting this slide fixed. Our trailer is a 2019 Jayco Whitehawk 29 bunkhouse. And it's practically brand new, except it's not. Now see, the previous owner of this trailer bought it brand new, and then three months later decided to trade it in for a toy hauler? Yeah, bigger rig. I bigger rig. So we got a steal of a deal. And, you know, but we knew going in that we would probably encounter some minor issues because it was used. Hey guys, so um, I'm having a little bit of an issue with my slide on the White Hawk, uh, making a lot of rubbing noises. So uh, we're gonna try to get that uh, situation fixed today. Um, it looks like it is rubbing here, down the side of the uh, rack and pinion right here on the frame and so I think what I've got to do is pitch it that direction and try to get this to pull itself back that way um, it looks like it's almost fully extended on the other side so maybe that's our issue hmm. we'll figure it out so I'm running down to Hilltop Travel Trailers to see if they have any slide out uh, grease because my slide is sounding pretty rough. All right, so with the slide out, I've noticed that all of my seals have been getting really good uh, contact with the outside of the slide. You can see that in the track here and the way it wears as it shuts. Um, we can go down here and look at my other side and it's sitting pretty flush all the way up and the same here. So it's not that my box is out of position as much as I think it's this shaft here that's slightly out of position being that we're rubbing the frame there. Uh, so my intention is to loosen this bolt, let this kick back just a tad, put some pressure on it and try to get this to level itself out a little bit. Uh, I have a feeling that one, one day it just pulled itself the wrong way. Um, so that's what we're gonna get into. So let's get under here. Oh, check it out. There we go. So uh, I just realized that some of these are box screws and some of them are not, so. Let's take out the ones that are not and then come back with the correct head for this. I shall return. So Riker and I are now at Home Depot. I gotta get a new tool for my drill. So what happened again? This uh, cashier thought that Riker was a girl and uh, I, I even corrected her and she still kept calling him a girl. That doesn't bother you, does it buddy? Doesn't bother you? No. All right, 
we got what we needed. Let's go back to the house and try to get under the trailer and fix it. Ain't that right, buddy? Mm-hmm. All right, so let's see if we can't get under here and look around. All right, I found the culprit. Oh! This guy here... Oh, this right here is what we're looking at. That's my slide motor. Right there, that's my slide motor. Um, that is the rack and pinion. And uh, these are a little loose, so we're going to tighten those up, these screws, and... Uh, once I tighten up the screws, it should be alright. Alright, let's get these uh, bolts. I said screws earlier. Um, let's get these bolts uh, screwed back in a little bit more. And uh, grease everybody up and try this again. So, if you were wondering, uh, the bolts on the Jayco rack and pinion motor mount is 9 16 Alright, before I get out of here, I want to put some tape over this hole over the heat shield so uh, we don't have any insects or rodents get in here later all right before i get too far i'm going to take some of this uh slide out dry lube and shoot it right here in this uh track that's really close to me before before i uh start putting the tape and screws back on all this yeah just give it a little little good squirt in there i want to take some tape just take this bad boy back up. Right here, right down this seam. Keep any rodents and varmints out of here. So, if you ever, if you guys ever want to get into your underbelly here and uh, rip through something, make sure it's a straight rip. Uh, that way, you can tape it up uh, like this, so we don't have any crinkling or anything nice and taped nothing's getting in here now then to uh, put the patch of the belly back in Next step, after we get this up here, we're going to uh, get on under here and, and put a whole bunch of grease on our gearing and on that rack and pinion piece. All right, now we've got a gap here. Uh, it looks like we've successfully shoved this piece over. Now it's time to just uh, grease it up, grease up the tracks, uh, clean up any debris, and uh, test it out. able to find the problem and get it fixed yeah I just deployed the slide a few times let the lube do its job uh, and now it has zero noise whenever it's deploying going in and out so thank you for watching and please hit that thumbs up and subscribe hit the notification bell as well Make sure you come back and watch episode 3 where we talk about all the gadgets and the little tinkering we did to get this trailer road ready to take off. And one more big change that we had to make first. You can follow us for more on Facebook, Instagram, or you can throw us a dollar over on Patreon.com. That's right. 
See you next time. See you next time. Woo! <laughs>